Hey, what's going on everyone? JB here with another political video and today we're going to be talking about New Mexico and how they've done a gun ban for 30 days and why I think this is a bad thing and it shouldn't be happening. So we'll be getting into this right now. So if you guys do like this video, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, helps with the algorithm and let's get right into it. So first, th first things first, a gun rights group is suing New Mexico over this order that banned guns in public in Albuquerque. So the issue with this is Second Amendment right that's the big thing um obviously there's certain things that are u.s law that infringe on the right to bear arms and that is a thing that has happened and that's a thing that will probably continue to happen in one way or another the issue though is things like this where it's a massive infringement i can understand certain things being done in certain situations i mean i'll agree with them or i may agree with them depending on what it is but an all-out ban on curing I think is a bad decision. I I will say I think people who open carry are kind of it's it's kinda, it's kind of stupid. It's kind of cringe. It's just kind of like it's just stupid in my opinion. You can do it if you if you it's legal where you live, but other than that, when it comes to like you know concealed carry, I think that's fine. Um, most people that concealed carry um, that would listen to this are going to be legal gun owners. People who illegally carry guns probably won't be listening to this ban. So this ban basically was done uh, by Michelle Lujan, Lujan Grim, uh, uh, Grishmaham, who's a Democrat of, you know, the governor of New Mexico, right? Um, so she basically has banned, they, they had decided to ban firearms from being carried in public in Albuquerque. Um, you know, the National Association for Gun Rights alongside Albuquerque resident Foster Haynes filed a suit just one day after Grisham announced the public health order. Yeah, they get, doing under public health order is pretty, like, weird to me as well, to really suspending concealed and open carry laws in the city. The group argued that this order violates the Second Amendment rights, pointing to the Supreme Court's decision last year in New York State Rifle and Pistol Association v. Bruin, which basically was when a high court struck down a New York concealed carry law in the Bruin ruling, pointing that, that firearm regulations must be based in the country's historic tradition to be considered constitutional. It's impossible for the state to meet this burden because there is no such historic tradition of firearms regulation in this nation. That's the reason why it was, you know, determined to not be uh, constitutional. Grisham cited a series of recent shootings, including the fatal shooting of an 11-year-old boy on Wednesday, announcing a public health emergency over gun violence on Thursday, a subsequent order on Friday. Now, again, when people get shot by guns and it's done illegally, things like that, it's irresponsible. It should not be happening. That, that's the that's is terrible. I think that's one of the things that. It's the biggest argument for against um, firearms is what I, I, I would say that's the most compelling one, right? Like that people that are innocent can get killed by people who are not innocent in having guns illegally. However, we live in a country that has so many firearms. We're not going to have a, we're, this country will probably never have a federal buyback. And even if there was, a lot of people currently would not give up their firearms. That being said, when there's so many firearms in America, and we know that bad people will probably get firearms one way or another, whether it be through like, you know, like gun show, gun show, uh, some gun shows have loopholes, buying it for, off of a person that they know, um, you know, get, like stealing them. There's all these ways that people can get guns illegally in America. Why are you punishing the people that legally have firearms? The people that legally are carrying like a, a, a gun, right? Concealed or open, right? Again, I would say if you're open carrying, it's kind of kind of cringe, right? Unless you're like, it's your job, right? Like if you're like, a security officer or like, you know, things like that, that makes sense. But when it comes to situations like this, all this is doing is the order in violent areas. Do you really think the people that are using guns for violence are not going to be keeping their guns on them? You think that they're, oh yes, this, they, they said I can't have my gun on me. No, it's, it's going to be the average, the, the actual person that is like, you know, that that has a gun, that does stuff with it legally, that has it for self-protection, that's going to be leaving their gun at home, having to go out with those people that still have their guns that are not listening to this order. And because guess what? They probably don't have the gun legally if you're not listening to this order, right? The people that legally and follow all the correct steps are going to be the ones being punished by this for 30 days, making it more un unsafe for them. As I said yesterday, the time for standard measures has passed, Grisham said in a statement on Friday, when Mexicans are afraid to be in crowds to take their kids to school to leave a baseball game, when their very right to exist is threatened by the prospect of gun uh, sorry, violence at every turn, something is very wrong. But you could, you could get killed by so many things whenever you leave the house. I know that's I know it's like a totally, it's, it doesn't get rid of the word that there could be you know, gun violence, like you could have a victim of gun violence, but we're not getting rid of guns in the US. That's not going to happen. Doing this is just going to harm people that would have the gun for their own safety that are doing things by the book the way it should be done. 
It's you're not going to get violent criminals or criminals with guns to leave their guns at home by doing this 30 day thing. Um, I think you can target many other things to try to make gun violence decrease. I don't think this is one of them. I think if you had, um, you know, background checks are pretty good, but I think if we were able to make it so that no matter where the purchase is done, so the, the, so I'm, I'm very, very pro gun. Um, I think that there should be less restrictions on a lot of things like, for instance, AR-15s in California. The hand grip's really stupid. That should probably not be a thing. Things like that. I was mentioning things like, like along those lines that I think are stupid, right? And there's certain things that I, you know, I, I could go on and on about, but I'm just trying to get that one example real quick. Things I do think that could be better is if we let the ATF digitalize, I don't think the, the, the physical file system, it all it does is sort of to slow down things, right? I think it's, I think that's kind of stupid. As well as I think maybe, maybe you can make it so that like the, the files about who owns what gun, uh, is, is separate from like some other governmental agency so it's like kept there and it's like you do some legal things so it has to stay there right maybe something like that and the other thing i think that you could do is um if someone commits violent crimes and they're under the, the like as a as a child right and then their record gets sealed if it's relating to gun crimes that should still sh i think that should probably show up on a background check um just because it, of like the nature of the crime uh, and again, I have a few other things. I just can't think of them all off the top of my head right now because it is kind of late. But that's my kind of thoughts on this. I think that this this thing that they're doing in New Mexico is detrimental, bad, and it's just going to harm people that actually would use the guns for self defense in the correct manner. So that's my kind of thoughts on this. Let me know, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think that this is good, bad, and yeah? I hope you guys had a good day, good evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this. And thank you so much. Love you all. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Peace, peace.